Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. May the blessings of the God of the Bible be yours. And in times like these, my friends, as never before, we need to look to the God of the Bible. I hear all of the voices out there that are telling us, let the scientists tell us what to do. Wait for the scientists, wait for uh, the medical community, wait for these professionals. And I believe that these professionals have their place. But let me tell you something. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I am looking to the God of the Bible for help, for deliverance, for a way out of this country that our country finds itself in. There is, as I have said weeks ago, there is the presence of COVID-19, the coronavirus, and then there is the response to COVID-19, the coronavirus. And my friends, the presence of the virus and the response to the virus has changed our nation dramatically. But I'll tell you who has not changed. The God of the Bible has not changed and he has a way out. And I want to encourage every one of you, respect all of the disciplines out there, practice all of the best practices, but look to the Lord. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Also, listen, listen, I believe that sin brings things upon nations. I believe that wickedness brings things upon nations. I talk to you often about the wickedness of abortion, the wickedness of the LGBTQ community. But my friends, we have in this country a wretched, uh, unexplainable, wicked, satanic uh, Race problem. And it doesn't make the headlines as much as uh, uh, perhaps it should. And we've come a long way. But come a long way still doesn't mean that we have a, a ways that we doesn't that we do not have a long way to go. Now, I am deeply troubled and I won't spend much time on this right now because I want to invite you to tune in tonight. But I'm deeply troubled on what happened to Ahmed Arbery. I don't know Ahmed Arbery. I don't know this young man at all. But I know this in uh, uh, Brunswick, Georgia, he was shot down like a dog in the streets. The video has surfaced and uh, uh, they said that this uh, young man fit the description of someone who had been burglarizing cars. Now, I don't know whether he was breaking in cars or not. According to what his mom said, he was doing a daily jog. He could have been stealing, breaking in cars or not, uh, or he could not have been. The video doesn't speak to that. But I do know this, according to Exodus chapter number 22, verse two through three, it says, if a thief be found breaking in and smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full uh, restitution. If he have nothing, then he should be sold uh, for his theft. That is, if a thief breaks into your house at night and you can't tell because it's dark what his intention is, and if in trying to uh, save your family, you kill him in the defense of your home, there will be no charges. But if the thief breaks in in the day and you know that he's only trying to steal, then you're not supposed to kill him. You're not supposed to take his life. There are other measures in the law. Uh, there are other ways that you deal with this. Now, according to this video, this young man at the time when these wicked men with guns stopped him, was not breaking into anything. He was jogging. They cut him off. They shot him. They shot him like a dog. They shot him like a dog in the street and the man died. And oh, it broke my heart. I texted a friend of mine when I saw on the video, 
He'd take his last two steps and when he stumbled, oh my God, I saw my own grandson. I saw my son. I saw my son-in-law. I saw many of the fine young men that I know of. I saw myself. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and listen, last time I checked, nobody has the right to be judge, jury, and executioner. Where was his trial? Where, how was he convicted? Where's the lawyer? Where's the judge? And to my knowledge, no one thus far have been uh, uh, charged. No one thus far has gone to jail. And it was done in broad daylight. And on the video, as you see these big men, big white men uh, with guns, gunned down this. He appeared to be a rather small uh, young uh, black boy. And they said that he fit the description, fit the description of uh, the person who was breaking in. I wonder what that description was. I wonder who made them experts at the, at uh, knowing how to get someone who if you, who fits the description. And oh, this too, this too, my friends, is a wickedness that we must pray against. This too, my friends, is a wickedness that only not only blacks are to pray against, but my white brethren and sisters out there, you must seek God and cry aloud from your pulpits against this type of wickedness. If the young man was guilty of stealing, if he had broken into every car in the neighborhood, he still did not deserve that. Since you have guns, it's three of you and one of him. He's a relatively small looking guy. You great big men. Why not just hold him? Why not just hold him until the police come? Why not just, why not just, hey, why not sit on him? But to kill him in the streets. And uh, uh, comparatively speaking, we do not see uh, this on the networks. Uh, I, I, I heard it for the first time while listening to watching Fox News. And I began to look into it to find out what was going on. Oh, this too is a part of the great wickedness of our nation. And my friends, we need to pray. We need to value all human life. We need to value the human life of the unborn, the, the human lives of the born, the human lives of the black, the white, the, the, the Hispanic, all human beings. They need to be valued. And until we deal with this too, then, then I'm afraid, my friends, that the same sins that are responsible, whether it's the sin of greed, whether uh, it is, uh, and, and, I, and with this coronavirus, I invite you uh, to follow the money trail. Uh, I have said to, to people, I do not completely trust any of the talking heads, the doctors or anyone else who are on television giving us uh, instructions. This is why I look to the God of the Bible. Now I'm going to be preaching tonight. I'm going to be teaching tonight and I want you to tune in because let me tell you something, brother would have never done, but one thing, and that is to tell it just as it is because God's truth is always right. Join me tonight for Bible study. That's what we're going to do. We're going to study the word of of God together. At 7.30, the prayer starts. Around 7.45, um, we're going to have a little praise and worship. And around 8 o'clock, we're opening the scripture and we're going to study the word of the Lord. I'll see you tonight.